Welcome to beautiful Karamba. We've come out with Mark and Julianne on croc and crab tours and Paul is fairly excited at what we might get. <laughs> fairly excited? I haven't been this excited since, well, last time I ate a mud crab. <laughs> and that was pretty good. Let's go. That cat there is an excellent cat. If we get three or four crabs in a crab pot at one time, we're very, very happy. Our wet season is just slowing down. You can still see a bit of it left here. And uh, with that slowing down, our crabs seem to be coming on here in the Gulf. Now, Mark, is it rare to get fish in your crab pots? Look, it is. A crab pot is one of those things that, that, as far as bycatch goes, you get very, very little. You'll find that a lot of uh, amateur and a lot of professional crabbers with a catfish like this, they'll actually use it for bait. But nobody eats them commercially? Look, commercially they don't, not these silver ones. There is a, a golden cobbler that they get up here in the Gulf and they do cut uh, commercially and they actually cut very nice. They've got a nice grain of flesh. I've eaten these ones and many people have. They're very, very edible. But like I keep saying up here in the Gulf, we've got a lot better fish. I'm going to interrupt right now, though, before you say anything else, because I've heard these are the best eating fish in the Gulf. So we're going to fill up this in chunks and give it to all the patrons on the boat, and I'll take the crab because they're not quite as good. OK, we can do that. That's fantastic, so Mark. What we might do is we might sushi this for the people. Yeah, on absolutely. The boat. So you're all very, very lucky, and we'll take the crabs. I know that's tough, but that's the way it's going to be. Yeah, we can sushi that. You can either skin on or skin off for those. So. <laughs> Christy, I've got to say, a fishing rod is nowhere to be seen. I've had a fantastic morning crabbing. This has been awesome to see. Uh, Mark and Julianne have showed us how these crabs end up on our plates, from the water to the plate, and your mouth next. Well, she says my mouth because that is like a lollipop from <laughs> Queensland, because you just go, mmm, I can taste the crab, it is beautiful. <laughs> You're a sick man. <laughs> that I am, but I'm having crab for dinner. There's no Paul. Where is he? <laughs> We've left Paul at home and given him the day off, and I'm out here with Lance Butler, arguably one of the best barramundi fishing guides in Australia. We're on the Norman River in Karumba, and our aim today is a nice big barra to go home and tell Paul all about. And give him heat. <laughs> I like the sound of that. <laughs> well, how about we get that lure in the water, Lance, and let's go. Yes, ma'am. Nice fish. You can golf that. Yeah, you whacked it, <laughs> are you? I'm just out to the right here. I'm just bringing mine in. Yep, no worries. Geez, he really whacked that lure, right? 
Uh, get your heart rate up? Oh, I'm shaking. <laughs> <laughs> and how, how many barra have you caught? Oh, 100. <laughs> here he comes, here he comes. Oh. Look at the boil at the yeah. back. I think I'm just as nervous as you. <laughs> Netting Lance Butler's barra is something I've never. <laughs> we'll go this side of the boat so the boat doesn't. Oh, God, he's yeah, going. Let me move that. He's oh. hammering. Please hook, stay in there, please. Yeah, that's it with barra fishing. We've well, all learnt the hard way that it's not over until that fish is on the, the floor. The, well, I reckon even on the boat, they, I've seen him jump out of the net. God, he's peeling line off. Look, Look at, at that. that. Geez, that wind's picked up, Lance. Oh, he pulled the hooks. He's pulled the hooks. Ah, damn. That is fishing. <laughs> that is so annoying, but oh. Lance Butler, he's caught, I don't know, hundreds of barra, thousands of barra. He would have done everything right, and it just goes to show that if the lure, if he does the right jump and he flicks the right way, there's nothing you can do. Oh, look, see, there's still one of his scales on there now. Yeah. Oh, well. He was a beautiful fish, Lance. Yes. We'll go and try it again. We'll go and try it again. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. fish is going to jump. What's he doing? No. What is this fish? <laughs> I don't even know myself what it is. I don't think it's a barra. Uh, it's a catfish. It's not a very healthy looking catfish either. No. I think you set the hooks well and truly there. Yes, I did. I didn't miss this guy. <laughs> hey. What are you going to do? Just flick it off at the side? Yeah, or? just going to take him off. For anyone at home, do not pick up catfish. They have many ways of making it very painful for you. <laughs> very painful. They tell me though they're not bad eating. You know the uh, the full blood Aboriginals? Yeah. They'll eat this fish before they'll eat a barramundi. Seriously? Yeah, they love eating these catfish. See you, See later. you mate. Not today. Not today. Not for us. Not for me. We prefer Barry. <laughs> He's tangled the line right up. Oops. Jeez, what happened there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So that, that's just a, a normal thread fin sound and not a blue sound. No, that's the difference you, uh, when you tell the difference between a thready and a blue. Yeah. You see those whiskers? Yeah. They, on a blue salmon, the whiskers are really short. Oh, okay. And uh, on a three, you see how long they're they are? They're really long, and that's about the only difference, is it? Yeah, oh. and the colour. Yeah. There see, that, see the yellow fin? Yep. Well, on, a, on a blue, they're usually just a, a plain silver. And these are good eating? Very. They're, yeah. they're better than Barra. <laughs> <laughs> Serious? <laughs> well, what are you doing hanging it over the side, then? <laughs> no, I don't think he's legal. Oh, OK. What's legal up here? I think it's up to over 60, eh? All right. Well, it's your lucky day, then, mate. Bye. See you later. Off he goes. Okay, purple people eater. We after Barra. B A R R A. Barra. and he's trying to get it out of the timber. We've been working hard all day. This weather has given us curry and Lance is trying to find some decent water, which he has. 
come out of there. But it's going to give him curry again. <sighs> Here, Lance, I can get the boat. Which way? You're right. Yep. Keep taking it out to the centre. Centre? Yes, yes, please. All right, slow it down, slow it down. All right, take it out of gear. Okay. Boy, what's that? A <laughs> bit of a drama trying to get that out of there. I just saw that big branch and went, uh-oh. If there's one thing a barrow knows how to do, it is find the nearest twig, engine, boat. <laughs> this fish is not giving me an inch, eh? He's just laying there, using that current against me. Oh, it's probably fairly obvious how windy it is by the waves and our shirt. And remember, we are only on a river at the moment. And it's pretty rare you see whitecaps on a river, but we have some howling wind coming down. And that has made Lance's job difficult. But still, he has managed to find a fish, and I think he's fairly excited about it. <laughs> I'm shaking. <laughs> Just see something, I can't make him gear. out. No, he's not a barra. What is he? Oh, it's a Queensland groper. Look at him. A what? It's a Queensland groper. That's not a barra. <laughs> no. Jeez, did he give me some? You're right. Do you need the net? No. Can you pass me the boga grips, please? You sure can. Oh, jeez. Do you want to grab it? Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, he's pretty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. I've never seen one of those up close. <laughs> Jeez, he did give you curry. Oh, wow. I was sure that was a barra. <laughs> oh, look at the size there of the mouth go. on it. If you want to get rid of that lure. Yep. So it's a Queensland groper. Yep. So Are these the ones that when you're out in the salt water, they get really big? Yeah, but what actually they do, they come in here in the estuaries and they stay about this size. Yep. And they go out on the reefs and they get them up to 300 pounds. Let's show everyone how pretty it is. I'll let you do the honours. Okay. Be nice to me. How gorgeous is that? It's not a barra, but it is a very spiky tummy. It's a beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at the colours on it, oh, eh? It's gorgeous. I don't think I'd have the heart to eat this, even if it was good eating. No, I couldn't eat a fish like well, that. Well, it so doesn't look anything like a para, <laughs> but it was still fun anyway, wasn't it? It was great fun. That's the beauty of fishing. It's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to say goodbye to this beautiful Queensland groper. And Lance, seeing as you caught it, I think you should do the honours. No worries, Christy. Now let's go let him go and become a big groper offshore. OK. Take your time, take your time, take your time. We just take changed lures and put a gold colour on. And I'm thinking they like that gold colour. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Seeing it, as it was in the water for all of uh, 30 seconds. <laughs> it done it for us yesterday. That same gold one. How far up the Norman River do you think we've been today, Lance? Oh, I think we might have went about 20 k's up the river. So we've been 20 k's up the Norman River, and would you believe it, we are about 200 metres from where we first put in this morning, and we've had a hit. Unbelievable, isn't it? <laughs> now, if he comes up, I just want you to bow your rod towards him, eh? OK, no worries. But you just take your time and fight him, eh? I can't stress enough how invaluable it is to come out with someone like Lance and let him give you really good guidance on what to do. Because obviously, I've never been to Karumba, I've never been to the Norman River, and Lance Butler has. <laughs> and he's worked it for... How long have you been coming here for, Lance? For the last three years now, no. And uh, every time he's given me some advice, it's paid off, <laughs> I'm happy to say. Christy, I've dropped the net over the side. Don't tell me that, Lance! <laughs> we've got it, we're back in business. Nothing like a little bit of action. <laughs> well, we've got to have a bit of drama, right? Drama, we love the drama. He's right near the boat. He knows it's not good. He's peeling line off. 
He wants to get rid of that lure, or let's hope she, actually, because, as you know, barramundi change to all to female when they reach over about how many centimetres to uh, They say roughly around about 50, 55 centimetres. So I'm hoping it's a girl. <laughs> Nothing against the guys. It's close. All we want to see is that knot, the first double knot. There There's it is. The knot. Just give me one shot. OK, I'm going to move up. Which way do you want me to go? This way? You just way? keep coming up. Just bring him up towards me. You just bring him up towards me. Oh, it's a thready. It's a thready. <laughs> a jumping thready. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not the barrow we were after. It's just a beautiful thready who teased us by jumping. Anyway, what, what size do you think he'd be, Lance? Uh, he'd be in the late 60s or 70s. Early 70s. Woohoo! What a beautiful thready. Okay, it's not a barra, but still, it's an amazing fish. And I tell you what, it gave me a great fight, didn't it? Sure, it surely <laughs> did it. My it was heart tricking racing. me with those jumps, but still, very awesome catch. And it's its lucky day because we're going to let it go. See you later, matey. Ugh, I need to grow. I'll just give him a bit of a swim. What do you got, Christy? I'm not sure, Lance. Something's come and slam this. I've changed outfits. I went for a... Whoa, he just jumped. Ah, so you know what that whoa, is? Whoa. Giant herring. <laughs> That's a giant herring. There you go, it's a giant herring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my hand was getting sore with the bait caster, so I thought I'd give the spin rod a shot. And Mr. Herring is wanting to come to the party. <laughs> Gosh, he jumped a lot. Yeah. Fly rod fishermen love these fish on fly rod, eh? Oh, look at that. He's not very big, but he's, he's dancing across that water. Oh, are they very common here, Lance? Yeah, they are. They, they, they actually are. Um, he'll thrash himself to death when we get him in the boat. They're, okay. like, a, they're like a blue salmon. They're mad. There we go. There we go. A oh, little hello. giant herring. Whoa, you're right about that. Look, he's scuffed himself up with those lures. OK, yeah, you get great. the hooks out. I'm going to... Right, you got the boger grips ready? I have got the boger grips ready. All right, Woo! it's all yours. Well I am done. very surprised I kept that on because I tell you what, he spent more time in the air than he did in the water. <laughs> that is a very cool fish. I've never caught one of these before. I think Paul might have caught one, which is a bit of a shame because I could have had one up on him. But anyway, a new one for me. Yeah. And the barrage... If they could catch these, the barrow would like these, I presume. Oh, but they'd they're... eat them. They'd <laughs> love them. <laughs> they're a little bit quick. <laughs> well, let's let this guy back in the water. Okay. Hi, Mr. Herring. Off he goes. Okay. There's not much light left. Oh well, why don't you really give give it another shot, eh? Yeah. There's always five minutes more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, sadly, Lance, all good things must come to an end. Very true, very true. We've had a great day, though. Two threadies, Queensland Gropa, giant herring, and sadly, the one that got away. Yeah, well, that's fishing. The big barra. But do yourself a favour. If you want to go barra fishing, hook up with Lance Butler. He's an excellent guide, great guy. Just go to anglingadventures.com.au. And if you want to know more about the show, look at our Facebook page on I Fish with Tackle World. Well, Lance, let's go get some dinner. Yes, your shout. No worries. <laughs>